my dear friends, as you know, I try to upload motivational, inspirational, and informative videos to help my viewers in leading a healthy, happy, and successful life at every age. Today, I'm teaching a topic named as proteins, which has been under discussion since decades for its benefits in leading a healthy life. This video is in simple form for common people understanding with no medical or technical terms. However, let me clarify that I am not a doctor or a dietitian or an expert on this subject. All the contents of this video are just for information and collected through various reliable sources. But this should not be considered as a medical advice for healthy living. My dear viewers must contact their family doctor or dietitian before taking any decision to include proteins in their diet, keeping in view their individual medical condition and needs. So first of all, definition of proteins. In simple words, proteins are defined as molecules composed of chains of amino acids. They are essential building blocks of life and perform a wide variety of important functions in the body. Now the benefits of proteins. Some of the benefits of proteins are they help your body repair existing cells and make new ones. They help the immune system produce antibodies to fight infections. Eating too little protein can make it difficult for your body to properly maintain these systems and tissues. Proteins maintain the structure and function of cells, tissues, including building and repairing tissues, producing hormones and enzymes, and are a major component of muscles, bones, and other tissues. To sum up, we can say that proteins are essential for maintaining good health and well-being. A healthy immune system, growth and maintenance of muscles and to fight off infections and disease. Now requirements of protein. The protein required per day varies based on several factors like age, gender, body weight, and activity level. Generally, the recommended amount for protein is 0.8 gram per kilogram of body weight per day for adults. For example, a person who weighs 65 kilogram would require approximately 52 grams of protein per day. But various experts claim that this is too low for a normal active adult. An international panel of nutrition experts has recommended an average daily intake of 1 to 1.2 grams of protein per kilogram per day in order to help maintain muscle mass for seniors 65 plus. That's key because the loss muscle and strength are major contributors to an increased risk of illness and death and reduced quality of life in older adults. According to the latest researches, the requirement is 1.6 grams per kilogram of weight per day for adults with an active lifestyle. So in the above example, the requirement would be 104 grams daily. For athletes and exercisers, it would be even higher. One should consult the healthcare professional or a registered dietitian to determine the appropriate protein requirement for a specific individual. Risks of uh, protein deficiency. There are numerous health hazards for not taking enough protein, such as muscle loss. Proteins are essential for the growth and maintenance of muscles. If you don't consume enough protein, your body will break down muscle tissue to obtain the necessary amino acids, which can lead to muscle loss. Poor wound healing. Proteins are required for the synthesis of collagen, which is essential for wound healing. If you don't consume enough protein, your body may have difficulty healing wounds. Next is weak immune system. Proteins are important for the production of antibodies and other immune system components. If you don't consume enough protein, your immune system may become weak, making you more susceptible to infections and disease. Next is edema. Proteins help to maintain 
fluid balance in the body. If you don't consume enough protein, fluid may accumulate in the tissues leading to edema. Next is hair and nail problems. Proteins are required for the growth and maintenance of hair and nails. If we don't consume enough protein, our hair and nails may become brittle and break down easily. Next is hormonal imbalances. Proteins are involved in the synthesis of hormones. If we, we don't consume enough protein, we may experience hormonal imbalances which can lead to a variety of health problems. Next is fatty liver disease. Not consume enough protein can lead to fatty liver disease which is characterized by the accumulation of fat in the liver. This can lead to liver damage and other health problems. In summary, not taking enough proteins can have serious consequences for your health. So it is important to consume an adequate amount of protein as part of a balanced diet in line with an individual's specific requirements. It's not difficult as you can assess your intake and make adjustments. Developing the habits of reading the nutrition labels to check the protein contents is also very important. Now, protein contents of various food. We must be aware of the proteins available in various daily use food to plan a meal for the day. Here I am quoting some details of foods commonly used. So, eggs, one large egg contains 6 grams of protein. Greek yogurt, one cup contains 23 grams of protein. Sprouted multigrain bread, one slice contains 6 grams of protein. 100% whole wheat bread, one slice contains 3.5 grams of protein. Cheese slice, one slice contains 5 grams. Cotton cheese, half cup contains 17 grams of protein. Chicken breast or beef or lamb, 100 grams piece contains 26 grams of protein. Salmon and other fatty fish cooked, 100 grams contain 25 grams of protein. Lentils cooked, 1 cup contains 18 grams of protein. Black beans cooked, 1 cup contains 15 grams of protein. Tuna cane in water contains 22 grams of protein. Quinoa cooked, 1 cup contains 8 grams of protein. Chickpeas, 100 grams contains 7.5 grams of protein. Spinach and broccoli, 100 grams will contain 2.8 grams of protein. Avocado, 100 grams contain healthy fat and 2 grams of protein. Almonds, quarter cup contains 6 grams of protein. Fruits on the average per serving contain 5 grams. Parboiled rice, 1 serving, 4.6 grams of protein. Vegetables on the average, 1 serving contain 5 grams of protein. Mixed nuts, 100 grams contain 20 grams of protein. Whey protein powder, 1 ounce or 30 grams contains 25 grams of protein. You may check online the protein contents in any other food that has not been mentioned here. Everyone can plan a meal with a specific protein requirements for an individual and also include fruits and vegetables in their daily diet. Now, food choices to get 100 grams protein daily. We can conclude from all the various researches that a normal active adult on the average will need 100 grams of protein per day. There are many food choices that can help you get 100 grams of protein per day or you can mix various foods if your target is to get that number. Here are some options for your reference. Chicken or lamb or beef, 100 grams contains around 26 to 28 grams of protein. So eating four servings per day would provide you with over 100 grams of protein. Salmon or tuna or other fatty fish. A 100 gram serving contains around 22 to 25 grams of protein. Eating four to five servings per day will provide you the targeted amount of protein. 
Greek yogurt, one cup of Greek yogurt contains around 23 grams of protein. Eating four cups of Greek yogurt per day would provide you with 92 grams of protein. Cottage cheese, one cup of cottage cheese contains around 28 grams of protein. Eating four cups of cottage cheese per day would provide you with 112 grams of protein. Lentils, one cup of cooked lentils contains around 18 grams of protein. Eating six cups of, of lentil per day would provide you with 108 grams of protein. Egg, one large egg contains around six grams of protein. Eating 17 eggs per day would provide you with 102 grams of protein. Quinoa, one cup of cooked contains around eight grams of protein. Eating 13 cups per day would provide you with 104 grams of protein. However, it looks difficult to take so much servings of any one item to get your needed proteins every day. To meet your total protein needs for the day, incorporate protein-rich choices into each meal or strategically combine foods to build your protein intake. Another best alternative is to supplement your needs through protein powder smoothie with your favorite fruit, which will give you 25 grams of protein in one serving. However, total intake of calories should also be taken into you while deciding to follow any diet plan. Now, final takeaway. I am mentioning here the final takeaway in four points from all this discussion on protein. A. Proteins are important for leading a healthy life. B. The proteins deficiency results in various serious ailments. C. Every individual must assess the requirements of minimum proteins in consultation with family physician or a qualified dietitian and then follow professional advice. D. It is possible to get adequate proteins from food for every person as per requirements. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. In this video, we have tried to discuss very briefly about the benefits of protein intake. Please subscribe my channel and favor me with your views and comments on this video. We will meet soon with some other video of common interest. Also click the like button if you like the video. Thank you very much for watching.